What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's filthiest pitches of the day. I am Pitching Ninja, and I'm here with a man who always gives you inches and feeds you well. Will Leahy. I'm about to get rocked by a hurricane, and you are not giving me inches. Will. I was going to say, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but then I did realize it's the lyrics to the classic Scorpion song, Rock You Like a Hurricane. Rock you like but Ninja, on the baseball, the Dodgers and Padres are playing a somewhat consequential series. The Padres are trying to sneak in and win the NL West, but the Dodgers, specifically Shohei Otani, were not having any of it. Shohei did not have any dongs yesterday, but he just missed. He had two crucial hits for RBIs, including that double, uh, and one stolen base, so he's up to 56. But Ninja, uh, under the pitching side of the ball, Blake Trinan came in and uh, really just made people look foolish. He is a, a longtime pitching ninja favorite because he might be the filthiest man in the nation. And I'll let you take it from here. Well, and we've eaten pizza with him. That we, was kind of <laughs> cool. We, we've had a pizza party with him, too. So that, that was quite enjoyable. Anyway, Blake Trinan was absolutely filthy yesterday. Look what he does to my boy, Manny Machado. He just absolutely devastates him with these sweepers. And yes, that was a absolutely god awful godfather. <laughs> well, and also, Ninja, I love the strikeout pitch here where Machado's like, you know what? I'm laying off this. It's going to be way outside the zone again. And it just was perfectly painful. Yeah. Like I, I've swung at two pitches that made me look stupid. I'm not having any of this. I'm just going to look stupid by watching this one. Pick your poison with Blake Trinan. Sinker's ridiculous. Sweeper's ridiculous. And uh, like, I'm looking forward to seeing him in the playoffs. This man is deserving of a big role in the Dodgers bullpen. Next to, of course, Michael Kopech, who's taking his game to a whole nother level. The Dodgers ended up beating the Padres four to three. Jack Flaherty had five Ks and in five innings, giving up three runs. And his knuckle curves picked up a sword and this wicked slider. He faced Dylan Cease, who had four Ks in five innings, giving up three runs. He had these heaters, including this fastball right down the dick to Otani as well as this wicked slider. Now the rest of my whip around the league. The Mariners sunk the Astros 8-1. to one. George Kirby had six Ks and six innings, giving up one run. Did he have a walk, Will? No. Yes, he did. <laughs> he had it. one walk. <laughs> he had these heaters, these splitters, slider, curveball. Here's an overlay of his fastball and splitter. You can see how those pitches work together. And I love this. My man puts snipers to shame. Look at this overlay of two consecutive pitches from George Kirby, both of them fastballs, and look how well he repeats his mechanics, how well these pitches end up in the same spot. Absolutely ridiculous stuff from George Kirby. As he told us in spring training, my man practices on a nine pocket in the offseason and says he can hit the pocket he's going for like seven or eight times out of ten, and he does have the all-time lowest walks per nine innings for anybody, 500 innings or more. He faced Yusei Kikuchi, who had eight Ks and six innings, gave it up no earned runs. He had these fastballs up to 97 miles an hour, and these sliders picked up a sword. You say. The Phillies galloped past the Cubs 9-6. to six. Christopher Sanchez had four Ks and four and two-thirds innings, gave it up three earned runs. He had his two-seamer slider and changeup. He faced the ass man Javier Assad, who had three Ks and four and a third innings, giving up eight runs, basically pitched like ass. He did have these sweepers. The Guardians beat the Reds 6 to 2. Andrew Walters was the opener yesterday, had one and two thirds scoreless innings, but had no Ks, so no highlight. He faced Jacob Judas, who had three Ks in five innings, giving up two runs, and had these sliders. J Ram had a dong here, and that's his 38th of the season. And if you're keeping track at home, he's got 40 steals. He may join the 40 40 club just backdoor here. He, he had a hell of a game. He was a single shy of the cycle. And some people might just know him as the guy who ended Tim Anderson's career, but J Ram is going to find himself in the Hall of Fame someday. He's, he's sneaking I, on the. I right totally end. agree. Like, holy shit, is he the most underrated superstar of all time? Everybody's talking Aaron Judge, Shohei Otani. Like, he's an afterthought, and the man just hits like he's a hitting fool. My favorite J Ram moment is when he kind of gave a backhanded compliment to Freddie Freeman. Number five, kid. <laughs> You one of the best hitters. I said me. The Pirates sailed past the Brewers two to one. Luis Ortiz had five Ks and in seven innings, giving up one run. He had these fastballs and this slider that was a bit low, but we'll take it. 
He faced Freddie Peralta, who had seven Ks and five and a third innings, giving up two runs on two hits. He had these fastballs, picked up a sword, these sliders, and picked up a sword, as well as his curveball. The Tigers tore up the Rays seven to one. Kader Montero had two Ks and two and two thirds innings, giving up one run, had this painted slider. He faced Zach Latello, had seven Ks and four and two thirds innings, giving up three runs, had a slider and splitters. The Royals shut out the Nats three to nothing. Michael Lorenzen had two Ks and two and a third scoreless innings, giving up no hits, had this curveball. He faced DJ Hurd. <laughs> He had three Ks in five innings, giving up one run, and had these fastballs. The Orioles flew past the Yankees 9-7. to seven. Zach Eflin had one K in four and two-thirds innings, giving up a very uncharacteristic five walks. His K came on the sweeper, but five walks for a dude who's averaging, for his career, 1.9 walks per nine? Not a good day for Zach Eflin command-wise. He faced Marcus Stroman, and it was not a good day for Marcus Stroman either. He had one K in three and a third innings, giving up six runs, had this cutter. I have a feeling Will's going to interrupt me right now because somebody like That's Aaron right, Ninja. Judge. Aaron Judge <laughs> spanked another one. That's number 57. The MVP doing MVP things. Kevin Gosman had three Ks in six innings, giving up one run as the Blue Jays soared over the Red Sox six to one. And this painted fastball and splitters. Gosman faced Richard Fitz. Yep. Dick Fitz. We have the Dick Fitz pitch. As Johnny Cochran once said, the Dick Fitz you must pitch. That almost rhymes. He had two Ks in five innings, giving up four runs and this fastball and slider. The White Sox beat the Angels yesterday, four to three, keeping their loss total at 120. Hell yeah, fight like hell, White Sox. Davis Martin had four Ks in three and two thirds innings, giving up two runs. He had these changeups and slider. He faced Jose Suarez, who had five Ks and five innings, giving up three runs and had these change-ups. Ninja, Ben Intendi with another walk-off here. Uh, he had a walk-off home run last week, and he had one earlier in the season, too. For a team that's only got 38 wins, Ben Intendi is uh, putting a lot of work here to, to help him get these Ws. And he's no relation to Ben and Jerry's. Not that we know of, Ninja. The Twins beat the Marlins 8-3. to three. Simeon Woods Richardson, the law firm, had two Ks in one inning, giving up six hits and three runs. It was not good. It was fastball and slider. He faced Edward Cabrera, who had five Ks in five innings, giving up one earned run, had these curveballs. But the story of the game for him was his turbo changeups. Check these out. Changeups of 94, 95 up to 96 miles an hour. That 96 mile an hour changeup was an absolute wiffle ball changeup. And here's a sequence where he throws a 94 mile an hour fastball and a 94 mile an hour changeup to the same hitter. Yep, he pulled the Zach Ranke. The Cardinals flew over the Rockies five to two. The Trap King, Eric Fetty, yeah, baby, had 10 Ks in seven innings, giving up one run. And a sinker, cutter, changeup, and sweepers, and was filthy. Squaw! He faced Austin Gomber, who had three Ks in five innings, giving up four runs, and had these knuckle curves. The Rangers down the A's five to one. Cody Bradford had four Ks in three and two thirds innings, giving up one run. And his painted fastball and changeup. He faced Brady Basso. Yep, the Bassomatic had three Ks in three innings, giving up five runs. Let this painted inside fastball. The D backs slithered past the Giants eight to two. Zach Gallen had 11 strikeouts in six innings, giving up one run on two hits. He had this cutter, but the story of the game for Gallen were his knuckle curves, which is one of the best pitches in baseball. Let's just face it, Will. He had 11 swings and misses out of 17 swings on his knuckle curve. And these were absolute hammers. That knuckle curve is so filthy. He faced Mason Black, who had three Ks in two and two-thirds innings, giving up four earned runs, and this four-seam and two-seam fastball. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Aaron Ashby had this slider, change up for a sword and curveball. Lucas Ersig had this 98-mile-an-hour heater. Kevin Ginkle had these sliders, last year's postseason hero. Griffin Jacks had this wicked sweeper. Michael Kopech had this 101-mile-an-hour gas. Michael Soroka and these wicked sliders. And Joan Duran had this sequence with 101, 
102 and 101 mile an hour fastball to get the K. That 101 was a little off the plate, but whatever. I, you can't even see it at that speed. My top five filthiest pitches of the day yesterday. And number five, Araldis Chapman for this 104 mile an hour missile at the knees. At number four, Blake Trinan for his wicked sliders. Number three, Edward Cabrera for his absolutely absurd 96 mile an hour changeup. And number two, Emmanuel Class A, who actually pitched terribly for him yesterday. The bases loaded, got absolutely pissed off, picked up this White Castle special, and then threw this 103 mile an hour cutter at the knees, which is just, that's a war crime. And at number one, it's Zach Gallen for his knuckle curve show. And now my Pitching Ninja moment of Zen. I love this from the Oakland A's grounds crew. This is great. Heartwarming. Out to the bar ramp. I mean, how about this? That's awesome. More than happy to meet the request. My picks of the day today, I'm going to start out with Reese Olsen for 4Ks or more, then take David Festa for 5Ks or more, and top it off with Kumar Rocker for 6Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be?